The most common cause of lag in game loop is a poorly optimized PC overworking the processors. If you right click on the taskbar, open the task manager and uh, look at the CPU and memory columns, you will be able to see if your PC is being pushed too hard. Over here in the performance tab, you will see here the CPU usage while playing the game loop. Right now, it's, I'm not playing. but before uh, further discussions, we need to see the requirements, the PUBG mobile emulator requirement, the minimum requirement uh, that without lagging you can play is i5 4 generation or with AMD, if you go with the AMD processor, AMD FX6300 and 8 GB RAM. The GPU, GPU is the most important because it's a CPU based game so 2 GB GPU is enough. Now must be supported direct X11. But if we go with the recommended settings, you should have i5 6th generation or in AMD Ryzen 5 1600 with 16 GB RAM and 3 GB graphic card. That's the recommended and uh, the perfect settings uh, the perfect spe uh, specifications of your cpu is i9 9 generation or if we go with the amd then ryzen 7 series 3800x so in the lowest resolutions let's see which resolutions we have first of all going to the settings now these settings will not much uh, these settings will not affect your FPS much so I'm not wasting your time over here just go into the engine now here is the most important settings now check these four, first four options but don't check this option enable vertical sync you can enable it when you have a good CPU but you have a bad monitor like 60 Hz in that case you can enable this otherwise we don't need this because the um, stretching this option will remove your stretching and tearing but at the same time it will drop your FPS so that's the reason we are not going to enable this one now open GL plus work with your GPU and DirectX work with your CPU now we need to decide which one we have better now in my case I have 1066 GB so my GPU is fine so I'm going with GPU you can go with the DirectX if your GPU is not much powerful at least you need 4 GB GPU with 128 or above than this bitrate memory now I'm going with GPU because I have 192 bitrate so that's fine now going to the model you can select here the Samsung Galaxy X20 Ultra a lot of pupils are recommending so I'm not sure that this will give you any benefit but you can select over here now go into the game sections we will go with the 720p the lowest settings but with the balanced uh, graphic quality okay now you can also go with the smooth but I guess balance is fine now we are going on the highest frame rates in case if uh, or GPU is not providing 90 FPS still we will not get any lag with this setting so definitely you can select over here 90 now the most main thing is in the engine select here anti-aliasing should be off it's uh, total on based on your graphic so if you have a good graphic you can set select this one on balanced or ultra that's now let's move on the memory memory should be RGB now processors like the highest lot of people are recommending that go with the medium like if you have 8 then go with a 4 and if you have 4 cores then you can go with 2 but I am going with the highest now resolutions that's important uh, if you have a good CPU I mean the 6th generation CPUs then you can go with the 1080 otherwise you can go with the 1600x900 or but highly recommended these two resolutions the 1280x720p or 1366 x768 I'm going with the 720p that's the wide resolution and it's fine for me now screen dpi you can go with the 240 that's fine and yeah that's it that's the 
paste setting now uh you can see there's no lag there's no delay even but the further thing you can do here just go into the settings now go into the uh graphic settings graphic and audio now here you can see select the balance and frame rate should be on extreme for better smoothness in case if you have a low end gpu still you need to go with the highest frame rates but at some points it will feel stutter for you but there's no way if you select the medium still you will face the stutter and lag so it's better to go with the extreme settings are high at least high now style realistic anti-aliasing should be disabled now shadow should be disabled for better quality better experience r to adjust graphics should be disabled and that's it that's the perfect setting for your gameplay now you will not face any kind of lag see